Guys, I want to say thanks. The growth is real. Change is crazy. I woke up at 7 a.m. on a Sunday to do something I have not done in a while, and that was go to a Cars and Coffee. And let me tell you, I was reluctant. I have not really been in the car scene for a while, and I have to get out of my comfort zone to speak to people. Learn and ask questions on vehicles I have no ideas about. Guys, this was just a quick overview of some of the cars that I thought were interesting at this Cars and Coffee in Riverside at the JM Speed Center. So if you like this information and you like these car shows, please like and subscribe to the DR channel. So here's some interesting cars I found and that you might like. I talked to this nice gentleman and unfortunately he didn't have an Instagram or a social. This is a late 70s, early 80s Volvo 240 Coupe Turbo. It was a turbo, but due to the boost issues, oil leaks, and low level performance that he was getting on the low end, it was changed to a supercharger. It had Mustang wheels, a 9 inch rear, and it ran 325s in the back. This vehicle weighs about 3,000 pounds and pushes 375 horsepower. The body kit you see was actually custom fabricated by himself. Next, we have this Honda S2000, and this owner owned it for 16 years. It's a 2003 AP1. It had Wed Sports SA72 RSs, which I like. They're different. A full system overhaul, coilovers, and racing seats. This guy actually tracks this one. StopTech brakes, the full brake system, coil rad radiator, a K&N intake, and had a roll cage. At the end of the meet, I actually was able to speak to two young gentlemen, and they were nice enough to stop and talk after the show was done. They had a Subaru BRZ on air suspension, Workmeister S1 three-piece wheels, a Goretti exhaust. He was reluctant to do any modifications to the motor, so it's stock. The suspension that he did is airlifted, with, which is ICS suspension, and he has no complaints for the year that he's been running them. It looked great. I actually don't like skylights, and personally, this one was done really well. As we got this quick look at this 2015 Civic SI. It's on RPF ones and has a bigger front mount intercooler and a downpipe system. It's pushing about 240 to 250 horsepower and claims that his previous gen SI was actually a lot more reliable than this new turbocharger version. Uh, I guess he's had issues with injectors and reliability because of this. I'll be doing cars and coffee almost every weekend if I can. And if you see me, stop me and I'll, I'll be happy to show your car on this channel. So please guys, if you like this information, like, subscribe, and comment.